Cypher. Station security reported what happened. The conspirators know who you are. They must have your full record. And they're recruiting your enemies. People I've already beaten are the least of my worries. Maybe. We'll try to run damage control, but I... Hold on. Transferring you to Keeper. Apologies for the interruption, but we have a new lead. Watchers 6, 7 and 9 have been searching Holonet records for conspirator activity. Three billion lines of communication routing sequences and credit transfer verifications. They found traces of a Holo conference held six months ago between Hunter and parties unknown. Could he have been reporting to his superiors? That is my hope. Unfortunately, this is only a record of the call, not the call itself. Even the Empire can't store every bit of data that crosses the Holonet. A Holonet archive does exist, however. The Titan Rings, a massive self-maintaining repository of all galactic communications. By your tone, I'm guessing visitors are discouraged. About a century ago, an entrepreneur cyberformed the Titan IV moon into an enormous data bank designed to listen and record. It was operated by droids and protected by mercenary contract. Like all archives, it ran out of space. Thus, the Titan Rings, a fleet of wrecked starships salvaged for the purpose of data storage. They orbit the moon, still recording, still protected by the mercenaries. Promise me it's for the good of the Empire, and I'll steal whatever data you like. You are reliable that way. The conspirator's recording is located in Archive Node 803A, a derelict Imperial transport ruined in the Battle of Drakenwell. Watchers 6, 7, and 9 will guide you once you're aboard. I want that conference recording, Cypher. Keep her out. What can I do for you, Doctor? Forgive me. But as your sole medical officer, I have to point out that your eating habits have been less than satisfactory lately. Now, I'll take my share of the blame. I've been preoccupied making calls, catching up on what I've missed in the intelligence community. Still, the fact that people are trying to kill me does not excuse my neglect of your health. I appreciate your concern, but you've done a fine job says the child to the unstrict parent. But regarding my search, I do have some small amount of news. I've identified one of the assassins as an operative for Colonel Langor, a man with ties to the Imperial Science Bureau. The Bureau is also the likely origin of the other dead men whose genetic structure had been mutated. Weaponized humans. What do you mean, weaponized humans? What's the Science Bureau doing? Military research is the Bureau's purpose. Making humans stronger, faster, is one approach. Which reminds me, I'd like your permission to run some tests on Master Vector. I'm rather curious about a joiner's physiology, and Vector is keen to learn more about himself. If it won't cause harm, I don't have any objections. Wonderful. I'll let him know the good news. And of course, I'll keep you apprised. something, Vector? We do not neglect our duties. We are Dawn Herald. We do this for the nest. Agent? We've had another request from Fulner F, our ally inside the diplomatic service. We need to take a short leave. We can spare you for a little while. What does Fulner want this time? Fulner's stock is rising, but he needs further acclaim before he can push for a Killick Imperial alliance. He's asked us to visit a former Republic governor named Yogana Thanoth and win his cooperation by turning him into a joiner. He joins the Nest, you learn everything he knows, and share it with the Empire. You can't blame Fulner for asking. We'd hoped Fulner wanted us for our diplomatic skills, not for this. 
The joining should be a gift, but we will find a way. Whatever you decide, I'll back you. Good luck. Thank you. You're back. Did you find your man? We spoke to the Republic Governor. If you'll join us, we'll report the details to Fulner F. My friends, it's been too long. Fulner, we assume you've heard from Fenoth. He contacted me from an Imperial transport. Apparently, we promised to work with him. Not what I requested, but the service can make do. There was no need to make him a joiner when he was amenable to discussion. You haven't lost your touch as a diplomat, after all. Not entirely, no. You kept your promise. Thanoth's assistance resulted in my promotion. I will keep my promise to you. Some important people are waiting that, uh, they're very interested in a potential Kilik alliance. You arranged this? As soon as I knew we could work together. Check the data I'm streaming to your main console. Thank you, Fulner. Excuse us a moment, Agent. It's like talking to a bug wearing a man's skin. I don't know how you stand it. He's a brave man and a loyal Imperial. You can't be serious. Those creatures are anathema to everything the Empire stands for. There's no place for great men in a hive mind. Only animal instinct. I'll be relieved when you people finish this scheme and get rid of the colony for good. Agent, they listened. They don't understand yet, but they listened. The diplomatic service has requested my aid and wants to initiate relations with the colony. Congratulations, Vector. You might get your alliance after all. We're a long way from that, but we can hope. We thank you, Agent. As a friend and as Dawn Herald, we've begun something good. Agent, we received a small gift from the diplomatic service in appreciation of our work with the Kilix. A package of wine, meat, and breadfruit, all imported from the colony worlds. Not inexpensive, and a bit extravagant during wartime. Diplomatic service must be happy with you. Maybe you'll get your Kilik treaty after all. Maybe, but we'd rather they treated us as one of their own, not as a foreigner to be won over. In the meantime, you're welcome to help yourself. We may as well enjoy the taste of progress. What do you have for me? Encouraging news. Watch. Don Harold, forgive the message, but our emissaries were out of reach and we couldn't wait to link with you. Imperial scout ships entered colony space and made contact yesterday. We traded in Membrosia, Silk, and Star Maps. We could smell the men's fright, but they left in peace. Perhaps you were right after all. A long way from a signed treaty, but it's a start. It looks like your work is paying off. So far. We're in touch with the diplomatic service as well. There's still resistance, but we're progressing. Kilix and Imperials may share space in our lifetime.
have completed analysis of my restraining codes. Although I cannot leave or cause you direct harm, I'm under no obligation to obey your commands. You may be stuck with me, but we don't have to be enemies. Then you may aid my core functionality. I intend to proceed with my heuristic directive of self-improvement and intelligence upgrades. Cooperate willingly, and I may spare you pain when I am free. You expect me to let you become more dangerous? Personal evolution is my primary purpose. This self-iteration is number 973, and there will be more. Do not anger me unnecessarily. I admit I'd like to see what happens when you learn. Hope for the privilege. Perhaps you will earn it. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? I prefer methods with less collateral damage. Don't mistake me, I've been in... How can I help you, Ensign? I have a pure... When you lie... Getting close to our targets is one of the perks of this job. You're a cad, sir. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a p when Any reason you're professionally interested? Don't mistake me. I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men. But going in, there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Sometimes it's best to live in the moment. Enjoy it while it lasts. Spoken like a true hedonist. So I should abandon my dreams of romance? That's a question we should talk about over dinner sometime. What do you say? That sounds lovely. For the record, we'd be defying all sorts of military protocols, and I won't be held responsible. We'll just have to risk our careers. Understood, sir. Then we have a lot to look forward to. Uh, I know I should get some. What's going on, Ensign? Sir, Dr. Logan's been filling in the gaps in my education. He has quite a few stories. Here's what puzzles me. I've always been taught to respect the chain of command, and yet you... How does anyone control a field agent? You're really perturbed by this. Are you that used to pure obedience? Yes, I am. And I don't think that's a bad thing. The Empire expects its operatives to make command decisions from the front line. That doesn't work. Eventually, you stop relying on your handbook, and you put the good of the Empire first. I was hoping for something more concrete. Maybe a numbered list? I don't want to do wrong, sir. My father ignored an edict from the Sith, and instead of facing his punishment, he ran. I won't repeat his mistake. Accidentally. Have a little faith in yourself. If the time comes, you'll make the right call. It's nice to hear you say that, sir. I'll stop troubling you about this. Back to the job, then. You know, sir, the Chiss Defense Force has a term for when a subordinate is entangled with his or her superior officer. It's considered an honorable and tragic state. If discovered, the lower-ranking officer is encouraged to go out in a blaze of glory.
channels the emotions productive. You know, sir, it's... You're not with the Defense Force anymore, and I'd rather you not martyr yourself. I was so hoping you'd say that. Of course, according to Imperial Naval tradition, a captain is expected to dine with his closest associates, male or female, once a month. It's a show of loyalty. Ensign, it would be my pleasure if you joined me for a meal. I'd enjoy that very much. I won't rush you, but somewhere planet-side would be nice. Oh, there is one other thing, sir, and I don't mean to pry, but... There won't be any trouble between you and Kaleo, correct? I'm just not entirely clear on your relationship. I care about Kaleo, but we weren't meant to be. You and I, though. Maybe we have a chance. I'd like that. You need to break it to her, though. I'm not stupid, Agent. You want the kid? Have a good time. Just don't come crawling back when she hits her limit. Is everything all right? Kaleo's tough. She won't be happy, but she'll get over it. I'm sure she will. I'll give her some space. Just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a point oh oh oh. This is Lurcher 6 to Cypher 9. You have accessed node 803A of the Titan Rings Holonet archive. Transmitting mission parameters. This is Lurcher 7. Download data fragments from the assigned terminals. So you may decrypt and reconstruct the spirit of communication. This is Lurcher 9. You have authorization to terminate anyone who interferes. It is our privilege to work with you.
accessing first data fragment. Applying preliminary decryption algorithm. Got the call, but make it quick. I don't want to be missed. 93% likelihood speaker is designate Hunter. Proceed with the operation, Cypher 9. We will continue reconstruction attempts. Accessing second data fragment. Modifying decryption algorithm. This will, of course, be my final appearance at these gatherings. But the galaxy I leave behind. No voice print identification available. Reconstruction incomplete. Accessing third data fragment. Attempting playback. My sympathies. With the old man lost, the next enforcer will be difficult to train. Experiencing data corruption, we will hope the last fragment provides redundancy. Accessing fourth data fragment. Splicing now. I am here. All is ready. This is Keeper. Cypher, get out of there. Reinforcements are on the way, and there's nothing more you can do. On my way back to the ship. The Watchers will try to reconstruct the Holoconference back at headquarters. Come to Drum and Cars as soon as possible, and we'll figure out our next move. Keeper out.
To see your master, I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. A safe cover. Utilize Fractal Thought Pattern 27. Reanalyze. Come in. They're reconstructing the Conspirators' Holoconference now. Anything turn up so far? Preliminary analysis bears out our theory. The call was initiated by Hunter, somewhere in the Bremer sector six months ago. The recording you pulled is intact, but... Watcher 9? Splicing and decryption complete. Rules of the Chorus Covenant, I call this meeting to order. Spare us the corporate posture and report. Since you're in a hurry, Senator Varala and Representative Shuru are predictable as always. And Commodore? All taken care of. What about you? Those earnest Padawans keeping you up at night? Different participants on different data streams. Processing. Look at them safe and secure. They think they rule the world. Who can blame them? Domain is unsettled, as we expected. I must again raise the concern. Do we overplay our hand? There is the chance it will spin out of control. Darth Angrel, Darth Barris, now the children are awakening. For each, there is a Republic counterbalance. We're letting loose the reins, but we're not taking off their blinders. 
Sit back and enjoy the spectacle. However much power they've got, they still see their plan as a risk. To bicker. Each of us agreed to the timetable. Each of us reports success in our own sphere. Ambition must never be our master. Patience serves our noble cause best. But if our enforcer approves... I do. I swear. Then we move forward to Armageddon. Keeper, the War Council needs you, sir. We have a breach. No one leaves, understood? Yes, sir. Security and medical help is on the way. What's our status? Keeper and the others are on life support. Fixers theorized the transmission had a hidden overlay. A code or image only a genetically enhanced mind could recognize. Designed to overwhelm and shut down the brain. They knew it would take an enhanced mind to find the data. This was insurance against that possibility. Losing this many analysts, forget about Keeper. It's going to be a blow to the war. I'll support you where I can, but right now I've got a few dozen field agents without handlers. Your operation. Take care of your people, Watcher 3. I'll proceed on my own. While you were on Belsavis, Keeper was compiling leads on the planet Voss. If you want to head there, I'll see what I can pull up. I've apprised the Minister of Intelligence. If he needs to contact you, he knows how. I didn't know them well, but I'm sorry, sir. We'll hunt down the people who did this. Transport on board the ship, and then I will be the stream. Cypher, hope you don't mind my checking in. You weren't expecting any other calls. Hunter, my good friend, who would I rather talk to? I'm hoping no one. I get jealous. Your visit to Mega Security Ward 23 left it in bad shape. Now do I come into your house and break your things? 
But you finding that hollow trap, frying your keeper's synapses, that's kind of cosmic justice. Once I find you and your bosses, he won't be smirking anymore. Cypher, it's been fun. Playing tag, brainwashing you. Remember your keyword? But you keep coming, and we'll destroy your world. No friends, no allies, no empire left to fight for. Are you ready for that? If you want me to back off, tell me why you're doing this. Do you know what it's like to have no identity? No one in the galaxy who can control you? It's terrifying and wonderful. If you live to see Imperial Intelligence die, that's me giving you a taste of freedom. My good friend, have you noticed that the price of Dianogan tea has risen considerably since we broke the Treaty of Coruscant? One of the costs of war you never anticipate. And now my jamming device is working, so we can dispense with the inanities. You're not usually this cautious. What's going on? Thanks to a now wealthy Kubaz information broker, I've identified the people who want me dead. They represent an organization called Project Protean, a secret research and development group inside the Imperial Science Bureau. You are good at this game. Give me the details. Protean researches practical applications of alien biology. You recall the genetically modified assassins who came after me? They're only the beginning. Imagine troops spliced with abyssin genes to enhance healing, or adrenals derived from Gamorian hormones. Most test subjects don't fare well, but you can see the potential. That sounds awfully like what you were doing on Terrace. There's a great deal of interdepartmental rivalry in our work, and my research does overlap with theirs. They may have targeted me in order to ensure that they have no competition, inside or outside the Empire. Tell me where to find these people. I'm going to talk to them. Right now, I'm unsure where the project is based or how to contact its members, but I wanted to keep you apprised. Now, about that Dianogan tea. What's going on? Agent, in our work with the diplomatic service, we find ourselves talking to people we once knew. We've been contemplating this. Hello, Vector. It's Anora. I, I don't know if you remember me, but Bryson said he thought you would, and I wanted to talk to you. I know things didn't end well, but I never forgot. You need to get out of there. Come back to Drummond Cass and we'll get you help. We can undo what the Killix did. There are still people who care about you. We've watched it 17 times and meditated to the static. You two used to be a couple? We were nearly engaged to Anora very long ago. We never considered that there are people who want us restored to what we were. But watching this, feeling nothing, we know we're no longer who we were when we loved her. If you could be restored, would you want it? No. We had to know if our reaction was unnatural, but we don't think it is. We are content. to access your culture's holographic network. Listen. Eighteen trillion desperate attempts to communicate per second. I hadn't realized your species were so starved for interaction.
What have you discovered sifting through those transmissions? I now understand your frustrations. I look at you and see neurons fire in your brain. I scan your body and know how you taste. But you are blind, alone, and confused. If you're so far beyond biological creatures, what's the point of analyzing them? You dominate the galaxy. I am curious, and do not sleep. Our time together has provided new information and sensations. These will prove useful in a future upgrade. I can help you with, Ensign. I was hoping you could increase my security clearance, sir. At least long enough so I could know about my promotion. What promotion are we talking about? The top secret one, sir. I can only assume it occurred. I'm pleased to say that I finished, as best I can, putting myself through the Imperial Intelligence Training Regimen, save the psychological tests. With your help, I'm now almost qualified to be here. Thank you. You're a fine operative. You should be proud. I am proud, sir. I thought you could tell. Oh, I'll finish this. will be uploaded to YouTube later on.